and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osaiwa Mesale, and today I'm joined by the lovely Olamide Onipade and yeah. the delectable. Mm. Or slim. <laughs> Uti Elu. Uti. So, Mr. K, let me tell you. So, we were in the makeup room having our makeup room. Now, Mr. K now walks into the makeup room. So, he was just standing, and all of a sudden, this model just appeared. And I said, Mr. K, he stop. Didn't know was Uti. Wait now. I said, Mr. K, stop toasting my co anchors. He said, she said, please, 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 please. Toast away, toast away. I said, ah, Uti. Hey, who doesn't like to hear good things about themselves? Especially when you work so hard. So, hey, hey. Anyway. <laughs> How are you doing, Uti? I'm doing really well. Um, great, great week. Um, it's, it's been an interesting week, actually. Yeah. I have, I think I've been let loose on the world. So now it's like every day I'm going out. <laughs> yeah, I was, you know, each time I see you, it's just like I'm seeing somebody from the blues. Like, am I, I seeing know. Uti live? You remember what they did to us before the, I mean, during the ah. lockdown, the heat of the lockdown. Mm. <laughs> My week, actually, I went to three parties this ah, week. Ah, Hello, yeah. Hey, <laughs> love me. And I, I really so have let, let the record enjoy. show that I have not gotten to that stage yet. I have not. No, been no, to no. One but one yeah, but social we had parties. we we was strictly fifty guests. Okay. All of it. I went for a funeral and fiftieth. Mm. My husband's cousin turned fifty. Wow. So I like to say happy, happy birthday, Uncle Dak, for many, many more years of God's blessings and cheers to another fifty years. Amen hey. to that. <laughs> so, and who died? Oh, his wife, his mother-in-law, actually. Oh. So it was oh. small but very nice. It was a nice party. So it was a very intense week for me. Mm -hmm. And my, I also lost my uncle. Wow. So the funeral is next week. Wow. <laughs> so it's going to be intense. But you know, you people, you people, people, I don't understand. <laughs> it's only when I got to Lagos that I found out that with parties, it is gilly, makeup. Yeah. As in burial. I'm, yeah. too, so, I'm sorry, I'm talking about burial. What do you mean? In a dust? <laughs> what do you mean? Don't you in a dust? Edo, so you know, I didn't. Oh, I, I was born in yeah. the north. Okay. You know, so when I got. No, Edo won. They, they bring canopies, but your own. <laughs> eh? There's Ashwabi. Yeah. There's gilly. Yeah. Heavy makeup with yeah. correct makeup parties. Yeah. Ah, ah. But I mean, think about it, Owa. If you are burying an elderly person, who no, had children. In, with Lagos who had Whether it's elder or no, not elder. Uh, no, 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 no. We have a culture. No, 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 no. it has is, to be elderly. There is, it's elderly. Yeah, yeah. So it has, oh, yeah. I've seen younger, younger, younger people with... No, so no, it, no, you can't... Now, if a person is naturally vain, she will wear makeup, you know, mm -hmm. she will be all dressed to get there. Mm -hmm. But no, if it's a younger person, it's quite a sombre yeah, affair. But true. if it's an old person with... Grandchildren and all the rest. Uh, are, of course, we have to party. Man. Come on. But you need to know your Yoruba's uh, our culture. You can is embedded in it. Mm. Is it all Yoruba to. people or is it Lagosians? All Yoruba people. Mm. I'm from Ogun State and I have it in my blood. <laughs> okay. Oh, <I> Today <laughs> so we have an interesting conversation. Now here's what we found as today's quote: In the 21st century, the countries that thrive will be the ones where citizens know their voices will be heard because the institutions are transparent. transparent. That's Joe Biden. What do you think? Well, pick Nigeria. Ha, how you didn't know? <laughs> <laughs> as long as we accept that we're opaque, we're fine. Yeah, I think we, we should start telling ourselves the truth. Absolutely. Let's not whitewash it. We have terrible, terrible the question, institutions. The question we should ask ourselves is why are we opaque? Why yeah. is it so easy to not be transparent. Are we not transparent because we choose to be? Because this is about the voice of the citizenry. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to call to you there. We don't have, it's not an issue of transparency for me. We don't even have any institution at all. Mm. That's my take. Everything has failed. You know, a lot of people focus on the politicians. I know you have always talked about weak public institution. Mm. For me, I, I, I see from the far angle that if our strong institutions are strong, how many politicians, they will not survive. They will not be able to survive. Yes, they yeah. will be able to tweak well, that's anything. True. But then okay. there's leadership playing there mm. as well. Oh, definitely. There's a uh -huh. nexus between uh -huh. mm. there you go. institutional failure and uh -huh. leadership. And leadership. Mm -hmm. All right, so according to the UN, the international community spends billions of dollars every year supporting efforts to build effective, inclusive, and accountable government institutions in developing countries. Now, the belief is that these reforms lead to better institutions that are able to provide rule of law, support economic growth, and reduce poverty through basic service provision. This, they assume, will enable sustainable development. Now, in Nigeria, how effective are our institutions? Now, Dr. Moise Badira is here to discuss this, but first, let's take a break for what's in the news.